What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie290 Day, coming as well, again to the power of the internet, and this is my rambling series, this is my vlogging series, in which I talk about life, the universe, things around me that are particularly interesting to me, what's going on in my personal life, and this used to be a huge staple of the channel, I used to do it at least once a week for the most part, I've really scaled it back, and moving forward, I want to do one of these maybe once a month, probably at the beginning of every month. So if you're somebody who got really used to the series, you really like this series, tune in at the beginning of the month, you'll find one. So it's been one month since the documentary came out and things have changed a lot. And believe it or not, almost exclusively for the better. This was meant to be kind of my Andy Kaufman moment where we created something so weird and so bizarre and was such a complete self-own that I didn't think anything positive could come from it. But certainly a lot did. And I think most people are going to think I mean in terms of like view numbers, subscriber numbers, in terms of financial compensation. And sure, those numbers are up and that's great, but that's definitely not what I'm talking about here. Putting this documentary out there, putting this information out there has allowed me to just like come entirely clean, admit my mistakes, admit my faults, and just feel a lot better about it. It also has left me feeling like I don't have to keep any secrets anymore. No more like double life bullshit. Uh, the person that I'm dating, the life that I'm living, the way that my brain works, the way that I act, the way I spend money, all this. I am open about it entirely. And I don't feel any guilt or fear or any of that with it. I'm just irrevocably myself now. And uh, I, it turns out I like who I am. I could use some improvement for sure, but for the most part, I like the person I am. One of the coolest things about the doc is it said everything that needs to be said. So I don't feel this constant need to try to control the message and talk about it constantly on Twitter and talk about it constantly here on YouTube. In fact, I've barely talked about it on YouTube at all instead focusing on the other things I'm interested in. If you look at my uploads from the last month, I have definitely uploaded some leftovers from the documentary, but I've also been talking about, you know, commentary stuff, things going on on YouTube, video games, and some of these videos have done better, some of them have done worse, but I've just enjoyed making them, and I feel like that's the key to all of it. If I enjoy making it, maybe you guys will enjoy watching it, and everything falls into place. And look, I'm not like these modern day YouTubers. My videos don't look like everybody else's still. But if you watch these videos, you'll see I'm actually putting time and effort and scripting and editing into these videos. And instead of dreading it and hating it, I've enjoyed doing it. So I'm hoping my videos will keep getting better. Hell, hopefully this one's better than the last rambling video, at least by a little bit. Another good thing that happened because of the documentary is the Lolcow podcast finally got off of the ground. And this has been a place where I can talk about my personal life. I can talk about the drama. I can talk about anything I want to talk about and keep it off of my main YouTube channel. And not only that, and Keemstar is going to get mad at me for saying this, but this is a place where I can get my Andy Kaufman-esque stuff out. We can make a mountain out of a molehill for the purposes of drama, for the purposes of entertainment. That doesn't have to be on my channel anymore. It has a home. Another crazy thing that I've seen is people coming out of the woodworks to say that we want to help. And if you're watching this video right now, if you've been watching my videos for the last few months, you're already helping. That's all I would ever ask or need anyone to do. For those of you who want to go above and beyond, there's all kinds of things you can do. You could book a cameo, check out my sponsors, check out my merch. I'll just link that all down below. You don't have to set through a big e-begging spiel here. You know what to do if you're motivated to do it. And look, I'm hesitant to even put this in the video, but not everyone got what I expected them to get from the documentary. Some people took it uber seriously. Then there's a lot of people who are trying to poke holes in it. Then there's people who started, you know, face baseless rumors because of it. And then very fairly, there's plenty of people that have been critical of the documentary itself and also being critical of me and the things that I did to make this documentary or the things that I did inside of it. And you know what? All of that's fair. That's when you create something like this, you put it out into the world, you have to expect stuff like that. And I certainly did. And I'm not bothered by any of it. The important thing is that this allowed a lot of people to learn from my mistakes. This allowed a lot of people to see me for the flawed individual that I actually am. This allowed me to get over all of this anxiety and fear and self-loathing that I had going into this thing. And it's allowed me to concentrate on what is effectively 
a new start. Sometimes you just got to burn it down and rebuild. And that's what this has been for me. A lot of people believe in second chances. I believe in second chances. And I'm very fortunate to have got second, third, fourth, fifth, 10th, 20th, 100th chances. But I think we can all agree when it comes to this whole YouTube thing, this is my last chance. And I'm going into this final chance with one thought in mind. I just want to be as entertaining as possible. I want my videos. I want the podcast. I want my internet presence to be amusing and entertaining. Not sad, not feel sorry for me. None of this bullshit. I want to do whatever it takes to be entertaining. Let's talk about video games. Let's show cool aspects of my life. Let's just enjoy the world. I guess I'm in a pretty positive place right now since this doc dropped, which was surprising to a lot of people, including myself. But what's there not to be positive about? I've got a happy, healthy relationship. I've got a beautiful home. I've got this audience. I've got this opportunity in front of me. And not only that, I hope that I've shown you that positivity in terms of the videos that I've created for this channel. I hope you find them entertaining because I'm finding it a hell of a lot more fun to make it. So that's going to be the rambling video for December. Unless something drastic happens, I will see you people who tune into the personal stuff uh, in January. I hope you can forgive me for choosing to do it this way, but I just think it's what myself, my career, my situation, my life, my mental health needs. This is, I just want to talk about other stuff instead of me for a change. And I hope that you can understand. I'll see you in January. Let's try to have an amazing Christmas, guys. As always, thanks for watching. I love you very much. And I will speak with you again soon.